Hey guys, it's Jessica and today I am filming this video for the second time because I did not hit record the first time. <laughs> so today we're going to unbox my Stitch Fix. I was going to say my Stitch Fix for the month, but it's, you don't necessarily get it every month. So Stitch Fix is a clothing subscription box, but I hesitate to say subscription because like the way I do it, you can sign up to get them automatically like each month, or you can just ask for them when you want them. Like I literally, you literally go to the website and say, okay, now I want to fix, but they don't just automatically come if you don't choose to, which I think is the way every subscription should be. But I guess then it's not necessarily a subscription because you're not like locked in at all. And I think that's really cool. So I, this is not sponsored by them. I do have a referral link. So if you're interested in it, you can click my referral link. I do get a kickback there. So if you are hesitant about that or you don't feel comfortable, I'll put the regular Stitch Fix link below because I don't want you to feel pressure. I mean, it's not that big of a deal. But I've been unboxing this for years, way before they knew who I was because I love it. So I did it once just on a whim and I was like, this is like the coolest thing ever. There's something so magical about having a stylist, about having someone else pick out clothing for you and accessories. Like, it makes you kind of feel like a celebrity. Like, yeah, <laughs> my stylist picked these out. But what's cool about this is you can send a little like paragraph, a little blurb to whoever's creating your box basically that month and tell them like, what are you interested in right now? What are you looking for? So for example, this time I asked for some summertime kind of fun pieces, but ones that are maybe a little more flowy and less fitted because I am two months, two and a half months postpartum. You know, I'm slowly getting back to my old body, but it's gonna take some time. So in the meantime, I want more loose fitting clothing. The nice thing is you do get like 25% off if you buy all five. Um, otherwise you don't really get a discount, but I'm excited. So they always send in the box a uh, little like informational cards with styling ideas for all of the items they sent. They send you five items. Uh, sometimes it's shoes, accessories. It's not the same for any two people. So I have had a lot of questions like, okay, so do we all get what you got? No, it's literally completely personalized and that's why it's so cool. Now, because it is completely personalized, you do have to pay a $20 styling fee anytime you order a fix and that goes towards the stylist actually finding these pieces you're asking for. Enough so that like I've been very specific, again, way before I had any relationship with them, I would ask for specifically, I need some kind of black flat and I need, I'd like a olive green cardigan and they would find those exact pieces and send them to me. That's how personalized it is. So that $20 styling fee goes to that, but the nice thing is if you buy at least one item in your box, the $20 goes towards the price of that. Whereas if you don't buy anything and you send it all back, you don't get that $20 back. So it's kind of a trade off, but not really because most of the time you're probably going to buy at least one item. Um, and they do send you a, an already postmarked bag that you just drop off at the post office to send any items you want. And all of them will fit in the bag. So that is really nice. There have been times where I've sent like all but one item back. And there have been times where I bought all five. So here we go. So the stylist will write you a note back. And so her note, she was kind of going through, um, she, I started with the olive skinny pants to create a few looks. I picked a selection of tops that are machine washable. They're lightweight. They're easy to wear with any casual bottoms like jeans or shorts. And I also added a cute and flirty romper. Um, you could dress it up with cute wedges or sandals. To give you more options, I included a black t-shirt dress. You can wear it around the house or add a cute pair of sandals and a lightweight summer scarf to have lunch with friends. That's cute. So I really like looking at the style cards they send with the pieces. So like there's the romper I got and they give you some ideas of dip, two different outfits you could do. Same thing, this is the top she uh, put in, two different outfit ideas. I just think that's so fun. Okay, so let's dive into the pieces. I'm gonna try them on for you guys, but if they don't fit me well, cause I haven't tried them on yet, if they don't fit me well enough to show on camera, you might not see some of them. I guess we're gonna see. Hopefully they all fit. Um, so first thing that I was really excited about are these olive green pants. So these are $88. These are by far the most expensive thing in here. Everything else is around like $30. So these have to be like the most ideal fit for me to keep these. So if they are, I will because I used to have olive green skinny pants in my wardrobe and they were honestly just too tight. So I finally got rid of them and I've never found any that I've liked as much as those. So I'm hoping these can be them because I do, I feel like I would wear olive green pants every single week, sometimes twice a week <laughs> because they go with everything and they're so 
they're always on trend and they, oh my gosh, I just love them. So I love that this has a little cuff at the bottom too. So the brand of these is Cosmic Blue Love and these are their Cali Cuffed Skinny Pants. Next top that I'm really excited about and I'm really hoping it fits is from Z Supply and this is $36. It's a little striped kind of cropped t-shirt, not super, like not a complete crop top, but it's definitely shorter. But I love black and white stripes so much. It would look so cute with the olive green pants. But I already have a lot of black and white striped things because I love it. But even still, I might keep it if it fits me well. I love that it's a really close uh, neckline. I think that's really cute and on trend right now. And it's just kind of lightweight. And I like that the black and white looks kind of distressed and worn. I think that's really pretty. So this retails, did I already say, for 36 yeah, $36. This is something that if it does fit, I'm definitely keeping. Next thing I was a little wishy-washy about. This is a romper. I have not had good experience with rompers in the past. I feel like they always ride up. They're not very forgiving. Um, but this one kind of feels, well, it's definitely stretchy. So I'm wondering if that will be good for a romper. You know what I mean? Where it's a little bit more comfortable to wear because I've just never felt comfortable in rompers. So the brand of this is Market and Spruce. And it is $64. That seems a little pricey, but again, a romper is an outfit in itself. So it's like, okay, well, if I were to buy an out, a top and shorts, that'd probably be around there from this, um, from Stitch Fix. So it is an outfit in itself, but I like that it's got pockets. I think that's pretty cool. I like that the sleeves have this tie so you can kind of tighten them and tie it. I think that's a really cute detail option. And it has this little peekaboo part in the back with a little button. So. All in all, it looks cute, but rompers, it's like, for a romper to fit well is the most important thing, because an ill-fitting romper is like, at least on me, I'm like, oh. <laughs> so that's gonna be one that I could see myself sending back if I don't 100% love it. So this next top, I really hope fits well because I'm in love with it. It's a really, really lightweight gray top. The brand is that same as the striped shirt, it's Z Supply, and this one's $34. It has the cutout little, peekaboo shoulder spot that's spot part that's very you know it's been trendy for a while now but I do still like it and it's comfortable so I love how thin and lightweight this is it looks like that was just like kind of cut which I think is actually really cute so and I love that it's a plain gray because I could totally like see myself wearing this with white pants like white denim and cute wedges and that'd be a very summery cute outfit you could wear it with a really fun necklace or even just like with really funky shoes so I'm excited about this. I hope it fits well. If it does, I'm definitely keeping that. The next is a dress. And this is the black t-shirt dress that the stylist was talking about in the note. It's from the brand Mix by 41 Hawthorne. It does feel a little heavier. It's still like stretchy and lightweight, but I guess not lightweight. It's like a, you know that nice kind of heavier fabric that's stretchy? That's what it feels like. Um, but I like that it has like a line down the back. You can't see it but I think that's just a pretty detail in a dress. And so, I mean, think of it like an oversized t-shirt, but it's just a little bit longer and a little bit more shaped, but it's still, you know, looser and comfortable. I feel like this could be really cute in the fall with like some like red tights or like maroon tights and brown boots. I think that'd be really cute with a jean jacket. Um, but also you could wear it alone. And again, it's a plain color. You could jazz it up with anything. I feel like I already have a black dress that's similar. I need to look through my closet. I've been wearing so many like maternity clothes. It's, I like forget what my normal clothes are. So by the way, I just now saw this is my 13th fix. I actually thought I'd gotten less than that. Like maybe like nine, 13, pretty cool. So if you do buy all five of the items, which I don't know that I'm gonna buy all five, but if you do, you get 25% off. So in this case, the subtotal for all five items is $260 the 25% off would be 65 bucks off. So it'd be 195 if I bought all five. Now they don't fit, I'm not gonna, but sometimes it evens itself out. So for example, the romper, if that's the thing that I'm like, I'm not sure, I kind of like it, it fits okay. Well, that romper is $64. If I would save $65 by just keeping all five, then I'm really kind of evening out because if I send the romper back, I'm still spending like $196. Does that make sense? So, um, or 194, so something to kind of keep in mind. What math is that? 196. So sometimes it kind of evens out. If you're already getting four of them and you're on the fence about the fifth, sometimes that fifth item would even out whether you send it back or not, so you might as well keep it if you can wear. So if you are interested in seeing past Stitch Fix unboxings of mine, I did a maternity one while I was pregnant. 
Um, and of course I've done many more before that. I'll link some of my recent ones below so you can check them out if you get an idea of different options they have. You can also do, I used to be really good about this and I want to get back on, but on Pinterest you can create your own Stitch Fix board and find other Stitch Fix items that people are sharing on Pinterest and pin it to that board if you like them. And then you can link it to your Stitch Fix account online and that way your stylist can look on there, see if they have any of the pieces you pinned or just to get a better idea of your general style. Like, oh, she really likes yellow flats. She pinned two different yellow flats, you know, things like that, which I think is cool. And for a while I was really good about it and my fixes then were awesome. I need to do it again. Also, they have Stitch Fix kids. Genevieve can't do it. She's two months old, two and a half months old. So they start at 2T. So maybe I'll get it for her here in a couple years. So I hope you enjoyed. I hope you subscribe if you did. And if you are interested in Stitch Fix, like I said, the links are below and I'll catch you guys in my next one. Bye.